Hello scholars, welcome back to the channel. What we're doing today is we're looking at significant figures. What do we mean when we're told, leave your answer correct to a number of significant figures? We need to know because many times we are told to do that, to round the answer off to a number of significant figures. And if you don't do that, you're going to be losing marks, right? So even though you may have worked your answer all the way down, got your final answer, but they want it to be expressed in a particular form, whether it's to a number of decimal places, and we did a video on that, or in scientific notation, and we did a video on that, standard form, or they want it expressed to a number of significant figures. We have to know what to do. So let's, let's look. The word significant means important. Significant means important. So significant figures, they will tell you how many significant figures and they're basically saying what comes after that is not really important to us right now. It's not that we're saying the number isn't important, but we want to know, we want to have an estimate based on what we're doing for a particular reason, right? So what we're going to find that we need to do then is everything else we're just going to use our universal placeholder the zero we're going to be calling upon the zero a lot when we're doing significant figures because whatever is not considered significant for this moment the zeros will come in and hold their place right for the whole numbers if it's a decimal the decimal part of it we're just going to ignore everything else. So we're going to get to the number of significant figures that they're asking for, and we are going to ignore the rest for the decimal. For the whole numbers, we call in our zeros. We know they're always going to come when we need them to hold a place. So we round from the left. So we start from the left, from the whole numbers, or from the left, of the decimal. Zeros at the front or to the left don't count. So zero, if, if the number begins with one zero, two zeros, three zeros, we don't start counting there. We start counting at the first non-zero whole number. In other words, we start counting at the first counting number from one to nine. Zeros in between and to the right, they matter, especially in the whole numbers, right? So the zeros in between matter. We count them. We count those zeros. We don't count these ones, okay? All right, so let's go then with that in mind, with those things in mind. So for each of these numbers, we're going to round them to one significant figure, two significant figures, three, four, five significant figures. Each of these numbers will be rounded to one, two, three, four, five significant figures. So, 268.106837 to one significant figure. Just one. This is that one, the two. And we're going to look to the right of the two. If the number to the right is five or more, we're going to add one to the two. If it is one to four, we're not going to add one to the two. And for the rest of the whole number part, the zeros will come in to hold that place, and we're going to ignore the decimal. So 268 to one significant figure, so we'll add one to the two, that's three, fill the whole number places, ignore the rest of the decimal. So this is 268.106837, correct to one significant figure. How about two significant figures? So that's one, two. This is eight, so we're going to add a one to the six, and that's going to be two, seven, and this, the zero will hold a place 
because it's a whole number and we ignore the decimals. Three significant figures, one, two, three, the one beside it is less than five. We're going to ignore all of those guys and just write two, six, eight. Four significant figures, one, two, three, four. And that's zero, so we're not going to add a one to that. So it's two, six, eight, point one. One, two, three, four. Four significant figures. Five significant figures. One, two, three, four, five. And this is more than five. We're going to add one here. So that's two, six, eight, point one, one. Okay? You got the drift? So, this is a mixed number. This is a mixed number. It's a, it's a whole number and a decimal fraction, right? And depending on the number of significant figures we're rounding to, we're going to use zeros to hold the other places, and we're going to ignore the decimals unless the decimals are included in the significant figures. So we only wanted one significant figure, and that's the first digit. We look to the right of it, the number to the right is more than five, so we add one to the two. We need to hold the place of the, the rest of the whole number, because we want to maintain the integrity of the number. We don't want to lose the overall value of the number. If we had ignored the 6 and the 8 and just focus on the 2 and just write 2 or just write 3, what a vastly different number from 260 something. But 300 is in that same range, right? So we're holding the integrity of the number. Yes, we're rounding it off based on what we want. Sometimes you just want a good estimate. Sometimes you don't want to have the exact number, right? You just want to have an idea. But you still want to maintain the integrity of the value, the overall value of the number. So you must use zeros to hold the places. Alright, so let's look at this number. So that's 48 million 341,765. One significant figure, we know that's the four. And we know that the eight is more than five, we're going to add one to the four, so that's five. Everything else as zero will take its place, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven zeros. That's 50 million. And don't that make sense? 48 million, run off to 50 million, right? If, we, if, if all we want is to have a good idea, right? So if we need, if we're building a huge structure, we might not want to have the exact figure, but we just want the construction, the, the um, contractor to tell us, give me a good idea how much money is going to need, I'm going to need, right? So he might work out his figures and get this, but any, anything can happen and we might need to buy some other things or whatever. So he's going to round it up since it's 48, closer to 50. If it was, let's say, 42, right, then it will be closer to the 40. Alright, so that's one significant figure. Two significant figures now. So that's one, two. This is less than five. We're not going to add one to the 48. We're just going to write by the 48 and then everything else, the zeros come in. It all depends on how accurate we want to be, right? how accurate we want to be. The more significant figures, the more accurate the number is, or the closer the number is to the original number. Three significant figures, so that's one, two, three. This is less than five, we're not going to add anything to the three. And these 
the zeros come in to hold their place. So see, we're getting closer and closer to the actual number. The more significant places that we're asked to round to, it's looking more and more like the original number. Four significant figures, one, two, three, four, that's less than five. So we're going to write those four and everything else, the zero holds in place because we don't want to change the overall value. We must hold the places. It's looking more and more like this. Five significant figures. One, two, three, four, five. This is more than five, we're going to add one to that. So we're going to have four, eight, three, four, two. Add one to this because that's more than five. And then three zeros. All right? The close, the more significant figures, the more it will look like the actual number. All right, so let's look at a decimal. We're rounding still to one, two, three, four, five significant figures. But remember I said, the zeros at the front or to the left, we don't count them. We count the zeros in the middle or near or at the end. If we, if we need that many places, but we don't count the zeros at the front. The first significant figure must be a counting number from 1 to 9. So for one significant figure, this is the first one. Not this, not this, not this. This is. And since it's 3 to the right of it, we're not going to add a 1 to the 4. So we're just going to put 0 0.004. Two significant figures. One, two. This is zero, less than five. We're not adding any one. So that's 0 0.0043. Three significant figures. One, two, three. The five, remember once it's five or more, we add a one. So since this is 5, we're going to add a 1 to the 0. So that's 0 0.00431. Four significant figures, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is more than 5, we're going to add a 1 to this. 0 0.00430. These are our four significant figures. One, two, three, four. And five significant figures. One, two, three, four, five. The eight is more than five. We're going to add one to the six. And the eight is just going to vanish into thin air because we don't need it. We're saying we don't, we don't want to concern ourselves with anything more than five figures. Depending on what we want to do. We just want to have an idea. Alright, so these are all five figures then. One, two, three, four, five. So to recap, significant means important. So you might just need an estimate of something and you don't want to bother yourself with additional information. You just want to have an idea based on what you need to do. So we're rounding and we're rounding from the left. We start counting the significant figures from the left. The zeros at the front, in the terms of a decimal, we don't count them. We start counting at the first natural number, the first counting number, which is one. And any digit between from one to nine, we count. The zeros in the middle of the numbers, are significant because they are placeholders, right? They are very important. We can't ignore them. And once we get to the point of how many significant figures we're asked for, if it's a whole number, everything else we use a zero to hold the place. If it's a decimal, decimal it just 
we just it just fades, it drops off. We ignore it. Right? We ignore it. Alright, so that's it for significant figures. If you have benefited from the video, just drop me a line to say thank you, miss. I appreciate that. And share the video. I also appreciate that. Share it so others can benefit from the information. And if, if you don't see a particular video that you're looking for, maybe you have a topic that's really getting on top of your nerves and you just need some help, let me know and I'll do a video for you. And please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I'll see you in the next video.